The Galaxy A55 and A35 have officially been announced, but they are for some reason not on the global market yet. However, Samsung Ghana was kind enough to send us a review unit and in today's video, I will be speaking on my first impressions for the Galaxy A55 and this is what I think so far. First off, the design from the rear side looks quite similar to almost all the other devices they've been releasing for the past two years. The only change coming in from the Galaxy A54 is the boxy design on here. It's much more bold and feels quite sharp on the edges thanks to the aluminum frame on here but it does feel nice in the hands and feels as if you are handling a premium device the rear side according to the spec sheet on paper is a glass back triple rear camera setup round rings just like the galaxy s24 lineup you might not be able to tell the difference between this and its counterpart the galaxy a33 if you put them side to side at the front of the galaxy a55 we have gorilla glass victors plus now this is a tough glass that can't easily crack but it's glass it's going to crack under extreme torsion or pressure however looking at the fact that samsung is implementing a flagship display type on here this definitely qualifies to fight on the flagship market in my opinion of course there are a few things that will be missing here and there but in terms of design and build quality this is up there the display on here comes with a super amoled display which is capped at 120 hertz and we know how good samsung is with displays this has a peak brightness of 1000 nits which gets extremely bright when you're outdoors it's very bright and you don't need to worry about the harsh conditions of the sun especially when you're outdoors it gives that great viewing experience when you're consuming content especially watching youtube videos with a pixel density of 390 ppi this display is crisp of course i was expecting it to be much more but it does the job i know that the pricing for this device hasn't been out yet but the rumors have stated that it's going to be in between a 450 to 500 euros depending on where you're buying it from and this should translate a little over 5500 cds close to 6000 or more honestly i haven't tested the performance to its limit yet so i can't say anything extreme for this device however things have been battery smooth on here the chipset on here is the exynos 1480 chipset which is a 5g chipset to enable 5g on this device and like i said earlier i haven't tested this device's performance to its full limits so i can't give the guarantee that the exynos chipset on here will do a good job however so far so good android 14 with one ui 6.1 out of the box 25 watt fast charger support and a whooping 5000 million power battery capacity on here as stated earlier i've had this device not long ago and i've charged it only once ever since i got the device and i'm yet to charge it again the battery percent now is around 47 percent as of the time of recording this video so right after this i might end up testing it to its limits by using it as my daily driver for a while and then come out with a full review for this device of course it comes with 8 gigs of ram paired with 128 gigabytes of baseline storage there is a higher storage variant which is going for 256 gigabytes however i will really recommend that you go for that variant if you're somebody who cares about taking pictures and videos on this device so far they look very great and they're very usable in case you are looking for using it as a video producing machine for content or even for demonstrative purposes it should do the job really well especially if you have good lighting conditions again pictures taking on here are quite okay they are very decent and i'm saying quite okay because i'm not fully done with testing the cameras as well on here however i would really like to see what its power is especially when it comes to taking pictures in low light conditions as that would or should be a good thing to have here on such a mid-range device i'll be testing this device to its full limits and i will come in your way with a full review for the galaxy a55 so far these are my first impressions for the galaxy a55 i'm delpy and as always we will talk more charlie